11.15 and I'm still in my dressing gown. But I'm super excited because before I jump into today's video, I just wanted to say that this video is in collaboration with a brand called Pup Naps. They're an Australian brand. They reached out to me a few months ago, honestly. And I've had so many brands reach out to me in the past that I just haven't wanted to work with or collaborate with because I just don't believe in their brand or have really anything to say about their brand. But when Pup Naps reached out to me, I was so excited because their entire philosophy is beds made for, for dogs with anxiety and to relieve dogs' anxiety. And before having Nala, I didn't believe that dogs could get anxiety. I just thought that was a bit of a bit of a myth of anxious dogs. And then I met Nala and I completely understand that dogs can suffer with anxiety. Nala, come here. We're going to talk about you, so you may as well sit here. Nala needs a haircut. Nala gets super anxious with any loud noises like door slamming, the wind. Um, if I clap or make any loud movements, she gets upset. In her old age as well, she's getting a bit deaf and she just gets very, ang like, very anxious. So when Pup Naps reached out, I was super excited because their whole mission is to help dogs with anxiety and have these beds help them. So they kindly sent me a bed which matches my bedding in my room. It's and that, look at her, she's so excited. It's a pink bed, pink fluffy bed. And it's the way that I can describe this to you so you know what I'm talking about is, you know, those weighted blankets for humans. This is what this feels like. It is really sturdy. And when she gets in it, it like cuddles her up. It's like a big cuddle for her. And I'm super impressed with the quality. I'm super impressed with how quickly it got to my house. I think it was maybe two or three days when I confirmed my order that I actually received my order. Um, compared, compared to other dog beds that I've had for her, she's had quite a few beds in her day. Um, this one's just, it's super filled and fluffy. So again, when she gets in it, it's like she's getting a big cuddle, like a big cuddle. And I, I, I honestly think the nights that she sleeps in it, she has a better night's sleep because she's surrounded by a big cuddle. The nights that I don't want her in my bed when I have to cuddle her, she gets into her bed and I think she gets the same experience as sleeping with me, which is amazing. And I think I, I honestly think it's improved her daily behavior as well. She's not, she doesn't come across as stressed anymore. Another one of my favorite things about this bed is you can actually take the cover off. So this zip, you can unzip this and take the bed out and wash the cover, which is perfect for me because Nala is such an inside outside dog. There's times where I'll be out shopping or out of the house and it'll be raining outside. She'll get muddy and gross and she'll come inside. She'll get into a bed and she'll trash it tra uh, and she will trash her bed because she's been outside in the rain. I've had this bed for maybe a month or so now before I wanted to speak about this because I wanted to make sure that I genuinely believed in the bed and wanted to um, share with you guys my experience because there's no point me just getting a bed in, a ma in the mail and then sharing it the next day. So I'm super impressed with this bed. Nala's super impressed with this bed. And if you guys would like to grab a Pup Naps bed for yourself or for your puppies, just in time for Christmas, if you use the code Beth30 at checkout, you get $25 off your order, which I think is amazing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hop off me. Oh, and she's jumped straight into her bed. Look. How much do you just love your bed? Hey? Okay, so I wanted to just come and give you guys like a a life update. You know, if I don't give you a proper vlog, you know that I'm just going to pop in and give you an update every now and then. So I have a few things that have changed since I last spoke to you guys. I finished my Lego. Hang on. If you guys saw, I think, one of my, my last weekly vlog, you would have known I bought this Lego set. Which I finished. And if I do say so myself, I'm very proud. It only took me one, I think it took me one session of like an hour or so just like to get in the groove of Lego. And then I watched Emily in Paris the whole, the whole season and smashed it out whilst I was watching that. What you gonna do? I was so impressed with myself and the only thing I stuffed up was so quick and I fixed it straight away. So I was super impressed with myself. I actually built the Lego. I didn't have any help. I FaceTimed my sister once, but she didn't really help me. It was just more of a chit chat and that was it. Um, what else have I got to tell you? I bought a garment 
I've wanted this watch for the longest time. Like I'm speaking like this was on my Christmas wish list two Christmases ago. Um, I really love this Garmin because this is not in collaboration with Garmin, but I wish it was um, because it looks like a watch. I was sick of wearing my other tracker and looking like a bit of a robot and like I can wear this. I layer it up with jewelry if I'm going out and it's something that I can always be wearing and I don't have to like look like I'm in sport mode all of the time. Oh, every car that comes down this driveway, I'm getting super excited because I've got a order from White Fox on its way because I'm having a party this weekend, a very COVID safe house party. And I decided to like splurge on a new outfit, like a completely new outfit. I'm really hoping it gets here on time. Otherwise I'm gonna have to be like my basic self and I'm not here for that, but that's fine. I feel really bad about not uploading on my channel, but I really hope that you guys understand that, or can understand that I have put so many things on my plate and she was getting a bit heavy. And it was starting to stress me out for absolutely no reason other than I was trying to do too many things within the day. I'm trying to, trying to start my own business. I'm trying to like study. I'm trying to work from home. I'm trying to do something else I can't speak about just yet. I was trying to do this. I'm trying to keep my house clean. I'm trying to go to the gym. I'm trying to look after my mental health. I'm trying to improve my life. And it all just got a little bit too much. And I had to write down a list of my priorities. And it kills me to say that YouTube videos were at the end. And that really upsets me because YouTube is something that I hope I can take further within all of my business ventures and everything. Like I hope it's something that I can always have paired up with what I'm doing. But at the moment, it's just, it's just too much. And that's not to say that I'm not gonna upload videos. Like I really wanna upload a Christmas video this year because I didn't do anything Christmassy last year, which really upset me. And just, I wanna keep you guys in the loop because you are my family and I want you to be a part of everything that has that I've got to come within the next year. I just, I can't keep going the way I was going. I had a dream last night about Christmas. And I'd set my Christmas tree up and it was all really exciting. And then I woke up this morning and I hadn't set my Christmas tree up and it wasn't exciting. Seeing it, it's only what, the 19th of November. And normally I'm like the first weekend of December, regardless if that's the first or not. Like that's when I always put my tree up as the first weekend. It's getting to the point now where I know exactly where I'm going to put my tree. And I just want to do it. Like I've seen so many people online on the Instagrams and on TikTok putting up their Christmas tree. And I'm like, I've just got to join in the hustle because to this year, I swear to God, this year needs to be saved by Christmas. If Christmas doesn't save this year, I'm going to be very upset. I want to give you a, a bit of an update on my meal plan. Um, if I'm being really, 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 really honest with you, it's been very hard for me. Which is so stupid to say when all that's being asked of me is to eat more food than what I was like literally that's it it's the same type of food I was eating like I'm still I'm having salads and sandwiches and wraps and steak and pancakes like it's all the food that I was I've got a itchy nose also discovered that you can get hay fever just randomly I was suffering last week with like a cold but I wasn't actually feeling sick I just had the cold symptoms and like obviously COVID's a thing. So I was like, oh my God. And then I went to the pharmacy and got myself some hay fever tablets and I'm cured. Although I did mow my lawn yesterday. As you can probably see, it's no longer a jungle out there. Like my grass is dead and disgusting, but it's not up to the fence anymore. So I did that yesterday. I got severely sunburn on my back because I only thought I was going to be out there for like 20 minutes. I was out there for two and a half hours because I was being a perfectionist with it. Got my whip snipper all around the fence line, whipped out some weeds, like sprayed it with weed killer and went a bit above and beyond. Um, anyway, so hay fever is a thing that you can develop further into life. I thought that you were either born allergic to the world or not. I am now developing that issue. Anyway, sorry, meal plan. It's hard for me to eat a lot of food because I got myself into a place where I pretty much feared food and I pretty much just did the bare minimum when it came to food. Take your pardon in your cute little bed. Um, she's still in a in a bed. 
Like, I'm not joking when I say to you that this bed has changed her life. Like, she loves this bed. See what I mean? It just, like, devours her. So, I think the first week when I got the meal plan, I followed it religiously, like, for the week. And I did lose weight. It did what it was meant to do. And then something, I saw the scales going down. Like, I saw it happening. For some reason, something in my effed up head was like, no, this is not this is not a vibe. This is not going to work for you. Like this is, we need to go back to not eating. What are you doing? Blah, 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 blah. I did that for a few weeks again, did the whole don't eat till three o'clock. And then I just would eat real little amounts of food and it wasn't healthy and it wasn't good. But today's Thursday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now Thursday. So five days nearly. I have followed this meal plan to a T. The whole reason I did this meal plan was to have more energy like I was just falling I spoke about this in the in the vlog where I went to the nutritionist but um I was just really struggling and falling apart and would lay on the couch majority of the day because I had no energy and my body was just screaming at me to stop and so this week I've been on top like it's amazing the difference between last week where I was eating the bare minimum and being a piece of crap to my body. And then this week I've gone to the gym every single day. I've walked every single day. I've cleaned my like detail. Like I detail cleaned my house the other day. Like not just like vacuum, did some washing, clean the kitchen. Like I was scrubbing my walls. I was scrubbing my bath, my shower, my sinks. Like I had, I went and spent two and a half hours yesterday mowing my lawn. Like it's ridiculous the difference between how much energy I have when I actually eat food and when I don't. So I need to keep remembering that when it's really hard for me to eat another meal. I'm joking about it, but I know it's a real issue and I know other people also struggle with this. But for me, it's just ridiculous in my brain that I can fear food as much as I do. But I do. And it's something that I'm working on to change. And again, the scales have changed, gone down again this week. So I need to just keep remembering that there's an end goal for my energy levels and for my weight loss. Also excited if I do end up with a crap load of energy and when I can actually start moving my calories up and up and up and up and be eating a crap load of food, I'm excited for the fact that I will have more energy to do all the things that I've been putting on my plate that have been weighing me down. I'll actually have time to make more dedicated YouTube videos, make content content for my Instagram account, um, have more time, to, like more energy and time to put into my business. All of these things, which excite me, but I just need to fix myself first so that I can get there. Oh, I also, to Sophie's absolute despair, have gone to a new gym. It just works better for me. It it works better for my life. It works better for what I do every day. It's ridiculous. I've been going to this gym since Saturday, so nearly a week. I just, my gym is amazing. I love my gym. I've been there for, what am I, 23, probably 10 years. I've been going there and only there. I went to Anytime Fitness a few times when I used to live in town and that's it. Like legitimately the one gym for about 10 years. I decided that I needed to, I'm a person that like still being in this house, if I could move, I would like, I'm someone that needs to like change their, that's why I change my hair color all the time. It's the one thing I can change. I need to be changing things all the time. And I, I find that I get in a bit of a funk when things have stayed the same for too long. And I realized that that was an issue with my, my workout routine. I was walking into the gym and I wasn't feeling inspired. I didn't want to be there. I know so many people there from being there for 10 years. My mum works at that gym. I've worked there. So I know everyone and it's really hard to, I'm the kind of person that when I go to the gym, I put my headphones in and I do not want to speak to a single person. I want to go in, I want to walk in the door with my headphones in, I want to smash my walk, workout and I want to leave. And at a gym where you know everyone, your best friend works there, you cannot do that. So I decided to actually do something for myself and go to a new gym and it's been amazing. I've been walking to the gym, doing my workout and then walking back and it has just been the best. Like it's only been a week and 
I've gone to the gym every single day because I'm excited to go to the gym. I'm excited to be in a new environment. I was doing like a full body workout with some dumbbells, like just up in a little corner by myself. And this girl just came up and it was, and like worked out next to me, which was totally fine. But it was so rare. It was such a weird feeling for me not to know that girl. And for me to be doing a workout and actually don't know who she is, don't know anything about her, her not to want to speak to me. I don't think we made eye contact once. Like it was so, it was so nice to not speak to a single person. Um, what else did I have to say? And I also, for the first time in my life, experienced a tiny bit of like anxiety going to the gym because like it's a 24 hour gym. So I've on... Monday I went super, super late because I just was so busy the entire day and didn't actually get time to work out, but didn't want to use that as an excuse when I now have a 24 hour gym, I can, you know, make the time. So I went at like 11 o'clock, which was fine. Like I didn't feel anxious about that at all because, well, the first time I actually went was a Sunday morning. Um, and obviously people are hungover and on a Sunday I don't necessarily want to get out of bed super early and do their day. So I had the gym to myself on Sunday. Great. I then went Monday night, had the gym to myself. Great. And then I went on Wednesday. So Tuesday, I went to my old gym just to do some classes because I still want to be there. I still want to do the classes that they take, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, on Wednesday, I went at 8, 8.30 and my the gym that I'm going to now is in the middle of town. And so I started like on my walk there, I started to get quite anxious because I didn't know how many people were going to be there. I didn't know if I was going to know anyone, like just a random person from my life that I know that obviously works in town and goes to this gym. I didn't know if it was going to be so busy that I wasn't going to be able to work out. Like I don't know the times of that gym that are best to go. Like I want to be going in the morning, but because it's in town and it's the time that I want to be going is before work time, I'm getting a little bit stressed about going at that time. And it's the first time in my life of going to the gym that I have felt anxious walking into a gym. And I've always had girls message me and say, how do you get over your fear of going to the gym? And I've been like, oh, I've never experienced that. I don't really know how to help you because I have never felt like that. I felt like that. Like I genuinely didn't want to walk in the door of the gym because I was so like, what if people, there's so many people there and they judge me. They're not going to judge me. I know what I'm doing in the gym. I know how to use all of the machines. I know how to do all the exercises that I have in my program. Like there's no reason for anyone to judge me. I'm not going to look dumb, but in my head, I was going to look like the biggest dumb noob ever. My last video that I uploaded for you guys ended with me in tears. So I feel like I probably should just address that situation very quickly i'm i am totally fine totally fine but this year has been an absolute shit show and i'm sure everyone can agree but i'm very 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 thankful for it because i now because of covid i lost my job but i now am studying i'm working from home i'm starting a business i'm becoming the person that i didn't have the balls to be like i didn't have i mean i left a full-time stable job to be a full-time like to do YouTube full time last year. And that was a big ballsy step for me, which was amazing. But then I had to go back and start working again and put YouTube aside. And then this year I feel like I was given a second chance to leave my job and pursue the career and do all the vet, like the business ventures that I've wanted to do for the longest time, but just haven't had the courage to do. I always spoke about doing what I'm doing and when I was questioned, well, why don't you just do it? I was like, oh, I just don't think I can. Like, I just don't think I can. And I'm doing it. So I've got a long way to go before what I'm doing will be my full-time income and be my, like, my dream job. But I always knew that I wanted to work for myself. I always knew that I wanted to be a business owner. And now that it's finally coming together, it's very exciting. I think in my last video, I was just feeling very overwhelmed. Um, I've got a lot of, I don't really want to speak about it on here just because I don't necessarily know who watches and I don't want to go spreading people's dirty laundry out for other people to hear about and all that sort of thing. But there have been some things going on in my life the last few months that probably aren't the healthiest for me, headspace wise, not, not the person 
but just the headspace that I've popped myself in because of the situation. I'm very much still, everything happens for a reason, all of that jazz. So I think it becomes really hard for me to, to make that difference between everything happens for a reason and I'm holding on to something that I probably shouldn't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And without telling you the full story, this is just going to sound like a bunch of chit chat. I'm struggling with that aspect of my life quite a lot and I just need to make that conscious decision. Sophie came over a while ago. Did she call me? I can't remember. She came over. I was having a crappy time. I think it was after I uploaded that video and I was just crying for about three or four days and she came over and she was like, babe, it's time to be selfish. Like actually time to be selfish. And I was like, yep, got it. No worries. Gotcha. Signed up to a new gym, doing things for me, living my best life being selfish. So I don't really have much else to say to you. I'm actually okay. I'm just trying to balance all the things in my life. I'm trying to smash out life. I really, really want to be a boss bitch. Like I'm really, really, really trying to hustle so freaking hard that I can just be my own boss, live my best life, get more lip filler, buy a house, have a nice backyard for my dogs. You know, I'm trying. Really, really trying. It's 11.45 on a Thursday. I have so much work to do today. That's all I have to say. I'm going to hopefully try and upload this video today. So don't forget, if you want to buy your dog the cutest bed. Like, this matches my bedding. Like, my bedding is bright pink. And sitting in my bedroom with this dog bed next to it is adorable. And look how big it is. This is a small for a small dog. Look how much room they have for all the activities in there. Are you joking? All right, I'm going to go. Um, I hope you guys are having the best time of your life. I need you guys to remember that the stage of life that you're in right now is perfect for where you're meant to be and not to judge yourself against where other people are because that's something at the moment I'm really struggling with. All my friends are having babies and getting engaged and moving in with their boyfriends. And I'm like, ah, it's fine. I, myself and Nala are right where we need to be. We are doing the best that we can do. And life has some amazing things in store for us. We've just got to get there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with another video.